Hello and welcome here. As House of the Dragon rushes towards a civil war for control of the Iron Throne, Season 1 is jam-packed with several feuds. Although they had emotions for one another, Prince Daemon and Princess Rhaenyra initially competed against one another to become King Viserys. The Targaryen Princess and Queen Alicent are currently acting in a really ridiculous manner as a result of this. Sadly, their children are feuding as well, creating yet another home conflict. These conflicts undoubtedly heighten the drama of the program, which is what Game of Thrones was known for. These disputes serve as a reminder to viewers of how trivial Westeros's family disputes, political rivalries, and love affairs once were. But while the Dance of the Dragons heats up, another rivalry has just been resurrected for those who like the chaotic soap opera drama. Without a doubt, I get the feeling that this one will come to a violent conclusion. The conflict between Esser Kristen Cole and Prince Daemon Targaryen was rekindled in House of the Dragon Episode 7, Driftmark. In a previous celebration, Kristen faced off against Daemon and defeated him as Rhaenyra was smitten with the knight. Kristen pledged to be her guardian as a result of joining her knight's guard. However, Daemon didn't appreciate that Kristen gained the attention of the person he was infatuated with, and anyway, his ego couldn't take the humiliation. Kristen and Daemon meet up once again in the present timeline, in which Rhaenyra is wed to Esser Laner Valerian and has three sons. This happens when Aemond, Alicent's second son, has his eye cut out by Rhaenyra's kid, Lucerys. Kristen tries to step in after Alicent lunges at Rhaenyra and slashes her in retaliation, demanding eye for an eye. But Daemon stops him, which enrages the knight. Daemon's actions are partially motivated by a desire for the Targaryens to handle their own problems. As he is aware that Kristen is a member of Team Alicent, he is also using his authority. Daemon uses his behaviors to subtly reveal to Kristen who the genuine Alpha is in the group. This is especially significant given that Kristen participated in rumors that falsely claimed Rhaenyra's children belonged to the late Esser Harwin. In George R. R. Martin's original novels, Kristen aids Alicent in seizing the kingdom by using Aegon's obscene ego to remove Rhaenyra. Additionally, Kristen aids the Greens, Alicent's friends, in assassinating everyone who supports Rhaenyra's claim to the Iron Throne once Viserys passes away. As a result, he transforms into the Kingmaker, an ardent supporter of Alicent's sons. Kristen continues to oppose Daemon's rule at Harrenhal because he wants to see that the prince is killed after becoming married to Rhaenyra. This is Kristen's means of exacting revenge on Rhaenyra for rejecting his proposal and reasserting Alicent's ancestors' claim to the kingdom. Given that Kristen is far more likely to teach Aemon how to handle a sword effectively despite having only one eye, House of the Dragon is now set up to match the novel's plot. Additionally, he would probably advise Aegon to take the throne himself rather than let Rhaenyra and her impure blood to defile it. Due to the fact that Kristen has pure Targaryen blood, Daemon will perceive him as a direct threat, not merely to Rhaenyra. The groundwork is laid for Team Black to emerge given that Daemon and Rhaenyra could have children and that Daemon is surrounded by Valerions, whom Alicent will want removed from the equation. Without a certain, the creation of Team Black will prompt Kristen to pursue all of these adversaries. The difference this time is that, should the chance to fight to the death arise, neither side will have to hold back in order to demonstrate who is the strongest in King's Landing. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.